a breakthrough battery technology that could change the EV industry forever in 2024. I'm talking about Lighten's lithium sulfur battery, which is based on a revolutionary material called 3D graphene. In this video, I will explain what 3D graphene is, how it works, and why it is so much better than the current lithium ion batteries that power most EVs today. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more awesome content. But before we dive into the details, let me ask you a question. What is the biggest challenge that EVs face today? Is it the cost, the range, the charging time, or the environmental impact? Well, the answer is all of the above. EVs are still more expensive than conventional cars. They have limited range and need frequent charging, and they rely on scarce and harmful materials like cobalt and nickel that are mined in unethical and unsustainable ways. These are all serious problems that limit the adoption and acceptance of EVs by consumers and governments alike. And these problems are largely caused by one thing, the battery. The battery is the heart of any EV. It stores the energy that powers the electric motor and determines how far, how fast, and how long an EV can run. The most common type of battery used in EVs today is the lithium ion battery, which was invented in the 1970s and commercialized in the 1990s. Lithium ion batteries have many advantages. They are lightweight, compact, rechargeable, and have high energy density. Energy density is a measure of how much energy a battery can store per unit of weight or volume. The higher the energy density, the more range and performance an EV can achieve with a given battery size and weight. However, lithium ion batteries also have many drawbacks. First of all, they are expensive. The battery accounts for about 30% of the total cost of an EV. And the cost of lithium ion batteries depends largely on the price of their key components, the cathode and the anode. The cathode is the positive electrode that releases electrons during discharge, while the anode is the negative electrode that receives electrons during charge. The most widely used cathode material for lithium ion batteries is nickel manganese cobalt oxide, NMC, which offers a good balance of energy density, power density, safety, and durability. But NNC is also very costly because it requires rare and toxic metals like nickel and cobalt that are in short supply and high demand. These metals are mostly mined in countries like Congo, China, Russia, and Australia that have poor labor and environmental standards. This raises serious ethical and ecological concerns about the sustainability and social responsibility of EV production. So, how can we solve these problems? How can we make EV batteries cheaper, lighter, safer, greener, and more powerful? Well, one possible solution is to use a different type of battery chemistry, lithium sulfur. Lithium sulfur batteries use lithium metal as the anode and sulfur as the cathode. Both lithium and sulfur are abundant and cheap elements that can be sourced locally in North America or Europe. This means that lithium sulfur batteries can reduce the dependence on foreign imports and lower the carbon footprint of EV production. Moreover, lithium sulfur batteries have a much higher theoretical energy density than lithium ion batteries, up to 2600 watt hour per kilogram compared to 250 watt hour per kilogram. This means that lithium sulfur batteries can potentially offer more than 10 times more range and performance than lithium ion batteries with the same weight. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, there is a catch. Lithium sulfur batteries also have some major challenges that prevent them from being commercially viable. The main challenge is that both lithium metal and sulfur are very reactive materials that undergo complex chemical reactions during charge and discharge cycles. These reactions cause two major problems, dendrite formation and polysulfide shuttle. Dendrite formation is when tiny spikes of lithium metal grow on the surface of the anode during charging. These spikes can pierce through the separator that separates the anode from the cathode and cause a short circuit or even a fire. Polysulfide shuttle is when soluble sulfur compounds dissolve from the cathode into the electrolyte during discharge. These compounds then migrate to the anode and react with the lithium metal. 
forming insoluble deposits that block the pores of the anode and reduce the capacity and efficiency of the battery. These problems lead to rapid degradation and poor cycle life of lithium sulfur batteries. So, how can we overcome these challenges? How can we make lithium sulfur batteries stable, durable, and reliable? This is where Lighten's breakthrough innovation comes in. 3D Graphene 3D Graphene is a novel material that Lighten has developed using a proprietary process that converts methane gas into a tunable three-dimensional network of carbon atoms. Methane is a greenhouse gas that is abundant and cheap and can be sourced from renewable sources like biogas or landfill gas. By converting methane into 3D graphene, Lighten not only creates a valuable product, but also reduces greenhouse gas emissions and contributes to the fight against climate change. 3D graphene has many remarkable properties that make it ideal for lithium sulfur batteries. First of all, it is exceptionally strong and flexible. It can withstand high mechanical stress and prevent dendrite formation on the anode. Second, it is highly conductive and porous. It can facilitate fast electron and ion transport and increase the power density and rate capability of the battery. Third, it is selectively permeable and chemically inert. It can block the polysulfide shuttle and prevent unwanted side reactions on the cathode. And fourth, it is infinitely tunable and versatile. It can react with more than 30 elements across the periodic table and create customized structures and compositions for different applications. By using 3D graphene as the core material for both the anode and the cathode of lithium sulfur batteries, Lighten has achieved unprecedented results that could revolutionize the EV industry. Lighten claims that its lithium sulfur battery has an energy density of more than 500 watt hour per kilogram, which is twice as high as the best lithium ion batteries available today. This means that Lighten's battery can double the range of EVs or have their weight with the same range. Moreover, Lighten says that its battery has a cycle life of more than 1,000 cycles, which is comparable to or better than most lithium ion batteries. This means that Lighten's battery can last longer and maintain its performance over time. And most importantly, Lighten asserts that its battery has a 60% lower carbon footprint than today's best-in-class batteries and a pathway to achieve the lowest emissions EV battery on the global market. This means that Lighten's battery can reduce the environmental impact of EVs and help achieve net zero emissions by 2038. Lighten has already attracted some major investors and partners, such as Stellantis, the world's fourth largest automaker that owns brands like Jeep, Fiat, Peugeot, and Chrysler. Stellantis has invested in Lighten to develop applications for advanced lithium sulfur-based EV batteries, vehicle lightweighting, and enhanced vehicle sensing solutions. Stellantis CEO Carlos Tavares said that lithium sulfur battery has the potential to be a key ingredient in enabling mass-market EV adoption globally, and its material technology is equally well-positioned to help reduce vehicle weight. Lighten also has collaborations with other companies and organizations in various sectors, such as aerospace, defense, energy, and healthcare. So, what do you think? Is Lighten's lithium sulfur battery the next big thing in EV technology? Will it change the EV industry forever in 2024? Or is it too good to be true? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and see you next time.